from the stage, and I'm here with none other than Paul Shortino. What's up, brother? I'm uh, just working and working on a new uh, King Cobra record now, and a video. And there's a lot of talk about King Cobra. We got a new album coming out. We got yep. a video coming out. Potential tour. Tell us about what's going on. Well, uh, we're doing a video at Vamp uh, with a song called "Have a Good Time," and it's written about the club, Vamp, and Corey and uh, Danny Coker own the place, and they're in the, in, in the song, and actually Danny's coming over uh, this week to cut some vocals on it with me. And it's just about having fun. So if you get to Vegas, stop and say hello. We got great rock, we got a party and great rock and roll, some of the lines in the song. It's really rocking, and uh, we're finishing up the album. The whole band will be here. We're actually be uh, performing a few tracks at the club that night. Tell us about potential touring. Uh, well, we've decided, and Carmine decided, that we're going to do some dates here in Vegas. We're also going to do some dates uh, in California, uh, Arizona, Texas, uh, maybe Utah, just a West Coast thing. And uh, also, there's a record coming out in October with this guy, uh, uh, Javier Vargas, that I've been working with, with Carmine. And uh, we did a remake of If You Think I'm Sexy. He wrote that with Rod Stewart. And Pat Travers is a guest appearance on it. He did uh, some guitar work, and uh, I think Tony Franklin uh, uh, played the bass on it. And uh, we got some rap in it. It's a heavy version of If You Think I'm Sexy. And that comes out in October with uh, Glenn Hughes is on this record. It's a bunch of other artists, uh, Joe Bonamassa, I can, uh, Jack Bruce. It's a great record. And it's the only not blues song on the record. It's kind of bluesy rock, but... Uh, Let's shift gears for a second, because I know you're very outspoken politically, and Obama is not anticipating your vote. Is that true? Well, I'm an independent person, you know what I mean? And uh, I would say... Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> does, does Romney have your support? Is that the direction? Uh, well, I, I just uh, I want to go what's good for the country. And I would like to see the government shrink a little bit. I think they're just gotten too big. I, I, you know, and I, I don't think the founders of our country, when they wrote the Constitution, expect people to make a career out of politics. You know, so I wish that some of the Congress people and senators would only, only had a certain amount of term. You know what, I mean, I, I think uh, everybody should do what's good for the country. I think Romney, because he's a good businessman, he's made a lot of money, uh, he's, I think that's what this country needs, is somebody to get the economy going. I think Obama had a good, had, had some good plans and issues, but uh, I think we need to get somebody in there that, to get our economy rolling, right. awesome. get people back to work. That's all. Now, you were in the book Tales of the Stage. Thanks for your participation. Oh, I love it. Now, looking back at it, was there any question in there that you wish you would have answered differently or maybe even not answered? No. You, you were pretty explicit with your answers. No, I right? loved everything you learned. Yes. Put it down. I loved how you wrote it down. Yes. Really? Yes. Well, you can get a discount. Paul oh, has a discount code. Yes. Actually. You go on my site. And if you go on the King Cobra site, also if you go on the Paul Shantino uh, Facebook uh, fan page, because um, we're still working on getting people on there, you can get a discount on the book. And it, the code is Shortino. You went to Shortino on TalesFromTheStage.com, you get a 15% discount. And it's short I and O. All thanks for your time, brother. Thank you, man. Have a good night. All right. All right. See you later, all right? Thank you. All right? Thanks, dude.